At the Idkar Mosque, one of Xinjiang's holiest sites, it is a symbol of earthly authority that flies from the roof. <laughs> but the access we're being given is designed to show that any concern about China's tightening control of religious faith is misplaced. With the government-approved imam denying, for example, that long beards are now banned in Xinjiang. When we break away from our official tour, however, along with the locked and deserted homes, we find clear evidence of the suppression of Islamic customs and beliefs. So here it is in black and white, a notice telling people living in this village that certain religious practices are banned. At this point here at number 10 says that the wearing of long beards for young men is not to be allowed. Close by, we find one of Xinjiang's many re-education camps into which hundreds of thousands of Uyghurs, Kazakhs and other Muslim minorities have disappeared. And there's this. Right across the region, mosques are being destroyed. Over the past two years in cities, towns and villages, dozens of religious sites once clearly visible on satellite images have been turned into patches of bare earth. China's case is laid out in gruesome detail in this exhibition, designed to prove that its policies in Xinjiang are a rational response to years of separatist violence. But access becomes far harder when we try to independently film the effects of those policies in the city of Keria. Uh, so I asked if uh, we can get to the mosque. He says that the road is closed. We think it's only just been closed moments before our arrival. We've seen a number of other people on motorbikes, scooters, some cars as well, stopping and asking why they can't get through. We're hoping to find out what's happened to this, the gatehouse of the city's Aitika Mosque. Its distinctive shadow shows it was still standing in late 2017, but now it's gone, overwhelmed by the surrounding commercial development. We managed to get close enough to film some of the building work. Marooned in the middle, the mosque's prayer hall with its domed towers is still intact. But there's construction machinery on the spot where the gatehouse once stood. Nearby, traditional Uyghur neighborhoods are being demolished too. The old homes are visible in this image from two years ago. Whole swathes have disappeared just a few months later. This patch of land encapsulates perfectly the two driving forces of modern China, political stability and economic development. There's no doubting that these neighbourhoods were poor, but by demolishing them, by repressing the faith of those who lived in them and by forcing hundreds of thousands of them into re-education, the concern is that a whole history and culture are being wiped out. In 2015, we filmed the crowds, young and old, turning up to pray at the Idkar Mosque. Beards were easy to spot. Four years on, the faces are clean shaven. And this is the scene just before prayer time. Inside, a few elderly men gather in silence. Isn't the truth? that what we've just seen is proof that China has suffocated Islam in this region.
Şunda bağlan dekin kimdizi ola ticaret kıladı ya ki vener kesip ya hizmet kılavallık için ya bu yakil namazı kıladığına bak diyor. Until recently this place was the vibrant heart of a deeply devout society. Now there's almost no one left.